I'm gonna tell you how to say. Tell that. I'm gonna tell you how to say. Tell that. I'm gonna tell you how to say how to say beauty. I'm gonna tell you how to say how to say beauty. Tell that they have to say. T ferret. T ferret. T ferret. T ferret. T ferret. I'm gonna tell you how to say. Tell that say. I'm gonna tell you how to say. Tell that say. I'm gonna tell you how to say how to say truth. I'm gonna tell you how to say how to say truth. How to say how to say. Emmet. 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 She got up. She got up. I'm gonna tell you how to say. I'm gonna tell you how to say. I'm gonna tell you how to say how to say balance. I'm gonna tell you how to say how to say balance. I'm gonna tell you how to say. I'm gonna tell you how to say. I'm gonna tell you how to say how to say to count. I'm gonna tell you how to say how to say to count. Please pour. 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 Shabbat Shalom and welcome to our eighth Shabbat online service. You might remember a month ago, we talked about Pesach Sheni. It was a time where if you missed your first celebration, 30 days later, according to the Torah, you get a second chance. So here it is. Get out your matzah, get out your gefilte fish, your chopped liver. Pesach Sheni is celebrated this weekend. Well, I'd like to thank you for helping me help so many people in need including our police, both in Avon and Vail, ambulance service, all of our first responders, through your generous contributions, it truly made a difference for all of them and continues to make a difference. I'd like to thank the Cantor, 25 miles down the road, putting new music together and putting the whole service together for us. 
Jeannie for putting it online and for Janet, this entire production of what we're doing here in our home. So if you'd like to have a blast from the past, get out your old cell phone, give me a call, and I'd always like to talk to you. Remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Tonight we're using blue candles to help us honor those who are working behind the scenes. Please join me with Cantor Michelle as we bless the Shabbat candles. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Shabbat Shalom. Let's continue with the singing of Hine Matov, how good and pleasant it is for us to be together. But first, let's see who's giving us a greeting this week from somewhere around the country. This is Ronnie Kik. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to our very special B'nai B'al congregation. We're so blessed to have each other, especially virtually during this challenging time. But I miss you all so much and looking forward to all of our hugs together. L'chaim, stay safe, be healthy. Shabbat Shalom from Maya and Barbara Behrendt. Hi from the Hodes family in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> We now continue with the singing of Shalom Aleichem, written in the 16th century in the small town of Svat in the north of Israel. The Kabbalist wrote this beautiful poem. Later in the Talmud, it was interpreted that two angels will follow you home. In 1918, Rabbi Israel Goldfarb, sitting on the campus of Columbia University, wrote the tune that all of us are familiar with as we join with the cantor.
As the pilgrims approached Jerusalem, they lifted their eyes to the mountains. They looked up and they said, from where does my help come? My help comes from God. We also have that beautiful opportunity here to lift our eyes to our mountains and pray for help and hope for all. We join with the canton, Asa'ayim. As I stand here amidst the snow and these beautiful mountains, we wonder, may we have just enough? Source of all goodness, as we join in prayer this evening, we reflect on the blessings that are always within our reach. May we feel healthy enough to rise up in the morning and enjoy all that this beautiful valley or wherever you happen to be gives you each day. May we have enough wealth to be able to take care of our own needs, but also compassionate enough to share our abundance with others. May we have enough wisdom to recognize our own faults, not blaming others, but rather working toward being that better person. May we have enough patience to not easily become disheartened, knowing that with faith in the future, we know that tomorrow will be a better day as we enjoy this snow. Let's now travel back to the 16th century when Shlomo Alkabetz wrote the beautiful song and prayer, Lechadodi. He saw Israel as a bride, joined with the cantor, Lechad Odi. Lecha Lechad Odi, Likra Likra Kala, Bnei Bnei Shabbat Nikabela. Lecha Lechad Odi, Likra Likra Kala, Bnei Bnei Shabbat Nikabela. La 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 la, Lechad Odi, Likra Likra Kala. Shamor bezachor biri bor echad. Hishmi anu el hameyuchad Adonai echad u'shmo echad. L'shem otiferet veli tchila la 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 lechad oti likra likra kala bnei bnei shabbat mikabela lechal echad. Likrat Shabbat lechu ben yocha Ki hi mekor haberacha Mirosh mikerem nesucha Sof ma'asei b'machshiva tchila La 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 lecha dodi Likrat likrat kala Pene pene Shabbat mekabela Lecha lecha dodi Mikdash Melech Ir Melucha Kumitzi Mitoch Ahav Baicha Rav Lach Shevet Be'emek Habacha Ve'hu Yachmol Alaichem La 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 Lecha Dodi Likra Likra Kala Bnei Bnei Shabbat Mikabela Lecha Lecha Shalom, I'm sick. 
I'd now like to continue with our family prayer. May we never take for granted the gift of Shabbat as we sit nestled in the Rocky Mountains, sharing this humble moment with family and friends. May the satisfaction of celebrating Shabbat hearten our spirits and let Shabbat peace bring quiet to our souls. Allow this time set aside for song and prayer to bring us closer together in thoughts and deeds. Let this space we share become our place of devotion, glowing with reverence and filled with our traditions. May the end of this week encourage us to examine our actions and let us all look ahead to the new week so we'll be worthy of all of God's blessings. Amen. Our service now continues as I will read for you Psalm 92. It is good to give thanks to you, O Lord, to praise your name through song, to speak in the morning of your loving kindness and your faithfulness each night, to the music of the lute and the harp, the melody of the lyre, I'll sing with my delight as the cantor continues Sadiqatamra. Now I'm going to continue with the reading of Just for Today, written in 1921. It was sent to the Boston Globe, but for all of us, I've had so many of you request copies of this prayer because different times in our lives, it has so much meaning to each of us. Just for today, I will live one day only, forgetting yesterday and tomorrow, and not trying to solve the whole problem of life at once. Just for today, I will be unafraid of life and death unafraid to enjoy the beautiful and be happy. People are as happy as they make up their minds to be. Just for today, I will adjust myself to what is and, try, and not try to adjust everything to suit me. If I cannot have what I like, I will try to like what I have. Just for today, I will be agreeable, cheerful, charitable, do my best, praise people for what they can do, not criticize them for what they cannot do. And if I find fault, I will forgive it and forget it. I will try not to improve nor regulate anybody except myself. Just for today, I will have a plan. I may not follow it exactly, but I will have one. It will save me from worry, hurry, and indecision. Just for today, I will get people off my nerves and not get on theirs. I will appreciate them for what they do and what they are. Just for today, I will not show it if my feelings are hurt. Just for today, I will find a little time to relax and to realize what life is and what I can be. Time to think about and get a better perspective of myself. Just for today, I will look at life with fresh eyes and discover the wonder of it. And I will know that as I give to the world, so the world will give to me. As the Israelites stood on the walls of Jerusalem, they stood and faced the people for the call to worship, the Baruch Hu. As we stand now and join together with the cantor in our call to worship, the Baruch Hu.
We continue with the most ancient prayer found within our Siddur, the Shema, as we'll join together with the Levi girls and they lead us in the Shema. As the waters closed upon the pursuing Egyptians, the Israelites were now free to sing their praises of Micha Mocha to be joined with the cantor. <laughs> Madonai, mi kamocha netar ba kodesh. Mi kamocha ba ili madonai, mi kamocha netar ba kodesh. Nora tehilot, o sefele. Nora tehilot, o sefele. Tehara uva necha bokea yam lifne moshe. Ze eli anu ve amaru. Ze eli anu ve amaru. Adonai im loch le olam baer. Yai la lai 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 la lai. Yai la lai lai lai. The cantor is now going to continue with the singing of Hashki Venu. And on this Shabbat evening, we seek peace and comfort. Shield us from the hatred and destruction that plagues so many of the corners of our world at this time. May we always feel protected in the shadow of your wings.
We've now arrived at that time in our service where we think about those in our community who are in need of healing. Healing of body, mind, or spirit. And if you have a loved one who could use an extra prayer, think about them as the cantor continues. Please your bear. As we think about those that have gone through difficult times, and many of us have, and come out the other end healthy, well, there's a special prayer which is recited called Birkat HaGomel. Let me read that for you now. Baruch HaTa Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaGomel Lechayavim Tovot Sheg Melani Kol Tov. It means, Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who bestows goodness upon the accountable, who has bestowed goodness upon all of us. And then as a congregation, we recite, may God who has bestowed goodness upon us, may God bestow every goodness upon each of us forever. Amen. Cantor Michelle will now continue with the chanting of the Reader's Kaddish. It's a hymn that praises God and also marks the separation between the sections of our service. The entire prayer is chanted in Aramaic. The purpose of that is to show the importance of praying in the common language of the people, as Cantor Michelle continues with the chanting of the Reader's Kaddish. Yit Kadav, Yit Kadash, Mei Amen. Ve'alma divra kirute ve'am lich machute. Bechaye chon uvyom echon, uvchaye decho bet Yisrael. Bagala, Bagala, who is man Kariv, the Imiru, Amen. Yehesh me Rabba me Varach, the Alam Ome Almaya, Yitbarach, Yitbarach, the Ishtabach, Yitpaar, Vitroma, Vidnase. Vidadar, vitale, vitalal, shemedekudsha, brichu. Le'e 
The cantor will now continue with Adonai Svatai Tivtach. Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory as we join with her. Adonai Svatai Tivtach Ufiya Gitei Latecha Adonai Svatai Tivtach Ufiya Gitei Latecha Our service continues with a song and a prayer taken from the book of Exodus. O Ziva Zimrat Yah. It means God is the source of my strength and my courage and has become my deliverance. We turn to this prayer when we are seeking strength and courage as we join with the cantor. Shabbat Shalom. The Hasidic Kotzka Rebbe of Poland wrote in the 18th century that there are three ways in which a person can go about performing a good deed. If you say, I shall do it soon, the way is poor. If you say, I'm ready to do it now, well, the way is average. If you say, I'm doing it, the way is praiseworthy. Well, this idea comes from the heart of Jewish tradition as we join together tonight to pray much of our prayer consists of giving thanks to God for all that's good in our lives. We come to express our gratefulness, to express our thanks for the life that we have. But this period of time, however, is different. It's different because how does the Torah instruct us to act when millions of people around the world are facing tough times? The Torah says, 
Should your brother come to ruin, you need to strengthen him or her, even if they're not Jewish, that they may live. We learn from this that we have a sense of obligation to help our fellow Jews. That has always been the Jewish way. Now, wouldn't you think it's natural instinct for all people to help others? Well, actually it's not. Our rabbis repeat over and over again in their writings, we have an obligation to help our fellow Jews and not just our fellow Jews, but our brothers and sisters around the world. As this COVID-19 virus began to spread throughout China, life for all of us, well, it remained on track. As we made plans for tomorrow, next week, next month, even this coming summer, but it was over there. It was natural to think that when another nation was in need, their government or the World Health Organization, well, they would help them out. But the Torah speaks to each of us. It's your obligation to help those in need. Do not exempt yourself and say, well, someone else is going to do it. In the book of Psalms, we read, Poteach et yedecha umaspia l'chol chai ratzon. You, O oh God, open up your hand and satisfy every living thing with favor. Well, what about all the people in the world who are not satisfied with favor, who are ill with this virus and other ailments? Is it God's obligation to provide sustenance to all of God's creatures? Or are we partners with God, the doctors, the nurses, the scientists, all of us, the members of B'nai Veil who reached out to those in need to give comfort and sustenance. Whether it's in making masks or taking someone's dog for a walk, bringing groceries to the homes of those who can't go, or providing donations to B'nai Vale so I could distribute the funds to those most in need. These are the true mitzvot. Well, thank you very much for doing these most basic deeds as a member of the Jewish community and as a member of the human race. So my advice for a restful night's sleep is to look in the mirror and know that you've done what you can to make the world a better place, but not through complaining or blaming, but always through positive and friendly efforts. So my prayer to all of you is, may you sleep peacefully as you follow your heart to always do good. Amen. In solemn testimony to that unbroken faith, which links our generations one to another, we recall our loved ones who are no longer with us as we recite the Kaddish together. Yitzgadal the Yitzgadash Shemei Rabah, Yalma divrach hirutev yamlich malchute, v'chayechon v'yomechon uv'chaye dechol beit Yisrael, v'agalav izman kariv imramein, yehe Shemei Rabah mevarach le'olam omeo maya. Yit parach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit nasei v'yit hadar v'yit talev v'yit talal shemei t'kudesha b'richu le'elah min kol b'rchata v'shirata tush b'chata v'nechemata damiran v'yama v'yimramein yehe shlomo rapa min shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'yal kol yisrael v'yimramein ose shalom v'yimramav hu ya'ase shalom as the sun sets on this Shabbat, I'd like to offer a closing prayer for all of you. Adonai oz li amo yitain, Adonai avarechet amo v'shalom. May the Lord grant strength unto his people, bless all peoples with peace, health, and happiness. Shabbat shalom. This is the time when we have to adapt to what we have. So if you don't have a challah, it's a good time to use a bagel, English muffin, or the same with the wine. If you don't have any wine, then have some grape juice or a juice that you could say the prayer over. Please join with me and the cantor and Janet as we join together in Kiddush. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, bore pori hagafen. And we'll join together in Motzi, Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz b'teavon. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.